So Jordan Peterson went to the Cal Kalinsky podcast and the conversation shifted to trans issue and Jordan Peterson being banned from Twitter for his transphobia. And I gotta say, it's pretty clear that GP does not understand anything about transgender issue at all. He's just fear mongering and being in a fucking moral panic. Also, Jordan get like super angry in this in this section. The only time I ever saw him that emotional is when he's either talking about Jesus or the fall of the Western civilization or something like that. So uh, good job, Kyle. Let's do it. Uh, the criminal physician. And Ellen Page just had her breasts cut off by a criminal physician. Criminal physician, exactly. So my question is, is the physician really criminal? If you agree that adults can decide to transition, then why would the physician be criminal? Don't adults have that right if they want to transition? Not everything legal isn't criminal. And do they have that right? See, I would have left Ellen Page alone if she hadn't been parading her new abs in a fashion magazine. How many kids do you think she can convince to convert? A one? Yeah. Thousand? No, not See, yeah. I, no, no, really? I want to I wanna respond to that. I yeah. think that with the trans community, it's very similar to the gay community where back when that first became a big issue, people thought, oh, if we talk about it, if it's in magazines or whatever, we're promoting kids to go down that path. But really what happened is people are who they are. And that, if they're gay, they just decided to be no. like, yeah, I'm gay. And they were just more open and honest with themselves. So I don't think you're promoting people to do that. No, that's you're just not saying, what happened. If you you're are that, it's okay. Wrong. Okay. Well, you're I'm, utterly I'm, wait, wrong. I'm listening. There's I'm nothing listening. about that that's right. You are utterly so wrong. Well, there's been an absolute look. Basically, if a child shows signs of gender dysphoria, they are going to see a medical expert. If it is established that the child has gender dysphoria, they are going to begin something called a social transition. The child is going to be referred as the other pronouns. The child is going to wear a clothes of the opposite gender. That kind of stuff. Only when they reach adolescence with the puberty that the hormone blockers and testosterone and estrogen enter into the question. Then far after that, it's surgery. All that to say that the process is very long and there's constant uh, follow up with expert with the child. And if the child is not sure anymore and he wants to stop, he or she can totally can. Nobody's forcing them. So when GP is like, how many kids you think he has converted? Maybe a kid watched Elliot Page and was like, oh, maybe I'm trans. But because it's a really long process, if the kid is really not transgender, they will probably just drop it and that's it. <laughs> so the idea that the child is going to transition and they're going to be like, oh no, it wasn't the right thing. I, I was just fool is fucking dumb. This is why the number of transgender who regrets are really low. Also, an interesting thing about transgender who regret transitioning, amongst the reasons cited for regretting, the most popular ones are lack of social support and botch surgery. So then after that, you have people who regret because it wasn't the right choice for them. So transgender regret is very low and transgender who regret because it wasn't the right choice is also very low. So we're talking a minority in a minority. Things that I opposed Bill C-16 in Canada to begin with, this pronoun compelled speech bill, was because I knew perfectly well what was going to happen when we introduced confusion about gender identity into the public sphere. Now, the argument was that if we left people with gender dysphoria alone to make their own way and stop torturing them, that we would decrease the mental health load on those individuals. And my analysis as a clinician was that for every one person of that sort that we hypothetically save, we doom a thousand more as a consequence of confusion and social contagion. I knew the literature on psychogenic epidemics. They used to call that mass hysteria. And it's a literature that goes back about 300 years. And whenever you introduce, often when you introduce social confusion, you can produce a psychogenic epidemic, especially among Generally, it's adolescent females who are most susceptible to it. So I thought, oh, well, what's going to happen is we'll produce a psychogenic epidemic of gender dysphoria among adolescent females. And that is exactly what's happened. And it isn't the fact that we've freed up people who are, what, in doubt about their identity to be who they are. 
That may have happened in a tiny minority of cases. It's absolutely and definitely the case that we've doomed thousands of kids to brutal, mutilating surgery and premature sterility. And we've done that on the altar of our hypothetical moral virtue and compassion. Again, Jordan is just wrong. He is utterly I'm, wait, wrong. I'm listening. He says that because of the gender confusion, adolescent girls are the most susceptible to gender dysphoria, except most data are pretty clear that there's more trans women than trans men. Trans women who are biologically male, and so they decide to transition to become women. So it's the boys, not the girls. Also, I like that he's like, I have studied mass hysteria and I know the effect of confusion among society. That's all good, Jordan, but how about medical study who directly address the effect of transitioning on transgender? And the medical consensus is pretty clear that transitioning increase happiness and decrease suicide rate in depression, anxiety, and all that stuff. And that transgender who regret is very low. Why don't you take a look at the increases in surgical interventions and see what you think? I mean, how many do you think well, is too many? Again, how many wait, look, the, if we're talking about I'll, I'll suffering, answer your question. I'll answer your question. The argument is it, it used to be very repressed because that's very outside of the tradition and the norm and the standard. And that now we sort of let the be, boot off the neck a little bit. Suppressed? What used to be suppressed? All the, exactly. the entire LGBTQ community. I mean, it was very recently we okay, even got gay all, marriage in the United States. First of all, they're not a community. Well, you understand what the is point this I'm community? making. No, I'm... No, actually, neither I understand it nor you. And that's why we're delving into it. <laughs> First of all, they're not a community. There is no LGBTQ plus community. Uh, okay. It just sounds like nonsense. Like, what does this mean? It's kind of like when Jordan went on the Joe Rogan podcast and he said that studies on climate change is nonsense because climate is everything, but you can't study everything. And you're like, Okay, Sherlock, what the fuck does that mean? Climate change one is a weird one. So that well, one, that's because there's no such thing as climate, right? Climate and everything are the same word. And I, that's what bothers me about the climate change types. It's like, this is something that bothers me about it technically. It's like, well, climate is about everything. So, okay. But your models aren't based on everything. Your models are based on Warming. a set number of variables. Yeah. So that means you've reduced the variables, which are everything, to that set. Well, how did you decide which set of variables to include in the equation if it's about everything? And that's not just a criticism. That's like, if it's about everything, your models aren't right. Because mm. your models do not and cannot model everything. And I'll tell you something else, that almost all the kids who are undergoing surgical intervention, the clinical literature is absolutely clear on this. 80% of kids with gender dysphoria identify as homosexual when they mature. 80%. And that means the vast majority of people who are being converted surgically are gay. Now, how is that an advantage to the gay community precisely? No. So I tried to find this 80% trans kid identify as gay later, but I was not able to find anything. So I don't know about that. By the way, for Jordan, the LGBTQ plus community does not exist, but the gay community does exist and transgender is hurting them. So I don't fucking know. My original question was about kids. the adults and what your take is on the adults. Hmm. And it sounds to me like, let me ask you this, would you ban transition surgery for adults? I don't know. Really? Yeah, really. See, We're paying a me, big price for it. And I think well, that I think that it was um, it was an, an act of stunning hubris to conduct the first trans surgery procedure. But, and it's not obvious to me at all that it's been a net social good. And but so aren't there some people that are obviously trans who were born in one body, they feel like they're in the other body. And when they're an adult, they can make the decision. And then even from just a freedom and liberty perspective, shouldn't they have that right? Even if they do it, and then they regret it, shouldn't they have the right to try it? It's a good question. I mean, it's a tricky one, right? Because there's all sorts of surgical enhancement procedures that are obviously, it's not obviously appropriate to make them illegal. And I don't know exactly where the cutoff line is, so to speak. And Who fucking care what you think, bro? What the fuck? Doesn't Jordan supposed to be dunking on emotional lefty and feminist and he's crushing them with his fact and logic? But here, it's all about his feelings. Who fucking cares? And we've got the data. Transitioning does help transgender. So fuck off with that. It seems that two step of just spewing some nonsense. Well, you see, Cal, the metaphysical dragon of chaos does not conclude that transgender... <laughs> 
Anyway, I'm done here. Jordan is just full of fucking shit and he doesn't know what the fuck he's talking about.